Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, actually, Tony last week, he emailed me with a problem he's having with this laser cutter. On the back, and this is the same with any laser cutter, you're always gonna have these little smoke marks or burnish marks, um, that residue left over from that laser cutter, especially on the back um, of your piece when you're cutting all the way through something. So he's making little uh, box joint boxes, and he was looking for a fast way to remove those. He does it all by hand right now. And he was actually asking about the Flatmaster, and I got to thinking the Flatmaster is probably a bit too aggressive, especially when you get that really thin veneer on top. He's got about a 32nd of an inch thick veneer on the top of this plywood, a little bit too aggressive. But then I got to thinking maybe a sanding mop would be a good choice, and I'd never actually tried it. So then I went ahead and tried it. So here you can see that residue left over on, this is just an R. Uh, let me show you what a sanding mop will do. So, there was some residue right there, but you can see it made real quick work of it. Um, so that's a 120 grit mop I'm using. Now, that led me to this right here. Now this is even a bigger problem that a lot of people have, especially if they're engraving quite deep and dark. Um, they get a lot of residue right around these letters of their engraving, and that can be a pain to remove. Now my concern was, when I use a sanding mop here, I was gonna actually remove a lot of that dark from the inside of those letters. But watch what happens. I was actually really impressed here. Okay. So you can see that right there. Let me go up in a better light. Just real quickly, those L's and the O there. Um, let me finish it all the way off here and I'll show you the finished product. So that right there, well, maybe a tiny bit of work to do left to do there, but that gives you an idea of what it's going to do. Um, yeah, so way easier and actually a better job even than sanding by hand. So that's just one more thing that you guys can do with the sanding mop. That's a 120 grit regular mop. From my little bit of testing, that seems to be the ideal choice for removing that laser residue. So yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you wanna see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button because that will alert you when a new video gets posted. Thank you much.